Meanwhile, in Kenya, we have animal news. We don't often get a segment inside of a segment, but we do. Did you know that there are just two northern white rhinos left in the entire world? That is mind blowing, just the two. And they're both female, which obviously poses significant problems for ever getting above just the two. But apparently there has been a breakthrough. For the first time, researchers have achieved an IVF rhino pregnancy. Now, if you're a right winger in America, I don't want you to get all worked up. This is not human IVF, you don't need to stamp it out. This is just for rhinos and it's outside of your jurisdiction anyway. But for the first time, Bio Rescue Project, this is a reproduction technology nonprofit, apparently has achieved this. Now they didn't do it in a northern white rhino, but it's believed that with further development, they could potentially apply this to this species as well and perhaps save this species from the absolute brink of extinction. Which I think, even if you're not a person who obviously, well, I was gonna say a person who hasn't never seen a white rhino, you probably haven't since there's only two. Like, can we use the advanced technology that we've worked on to do some good? We've wiped out so many species. Can we perhaps save one? David, what do you think? Well, um, I'm just wondering of these two white rhinos, the two females, which one is gonna be chosen to get the shots? And will they have to get the three shots a day as you know, women know who have gone through IVF traditionally with human beings? I mean, it's it's a pretty painful process and it can cause bloating and nauseousness. And so how do the white rhinos decide <laughs> which one's gonna be the test case here? But look, congratulations for the scientists who are working this. I do think, look, we, to the extent that we can use research and science and new data and all this kind of stuff to help save endangered species, that's Wonderful. We should all be sort of celebrating this. And the white rhinos from the pictures that I've seen are something to behold. It's a, I mean, it reminds you of that, you know, we're not alone on this planet, that there are some really majestic, beautiful things around us if we're willing to sort of take notice. And to the extent that this mm -hmm. helps us and reminds us that, look, there are all these creatures other than us that are sort of depending on us, not annihilating them. Great. Let's use some research that human beings have created to repopulate this, this, this group of rhinos. I agree. I agree. I'm gonna show you just two more pictures before we end. First of all, here, if we go to graphic nine, this is a photo of the actual embryo. And just in case Charlie Kirk is watching, that is a rhino. That's not a human embryo to reference the Ben Glebe dolphin fetus thing. But anyway, and also a reminder that while getting down to just two rhinos is crazy, we're losing a lot of species and a lot of species are at risk. You can see here the rapid rise in the number of endangered species, even at a time where there's a lot of conversation conservation efforts going on and conversations about conservation. Uh, there are a lot of species at risk. And do we want to live in a world where we just have this like burned husk of a planet with fewer and fewer species there that used to showcase this amazing diversity? We can work on it, we can save them. It doesn't mean shutting down our economy or anything like that. So thank you to the researchers who are working on that. Hopefully people will care enough to support them. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Cast or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.